Hey, you guys. So I'm back again with another message um, from the Lord. And I've been seeing this and I actually experienced this myself. So I had to come and talk about it and share. Because now that I'm being delivered from or I have been delivered from it for a while, I'm seeing other people that are struggling with this or trying to come out of this or they are just um, trying to figure their life out now. But don't lose yourself behind other people. I am coming across so many people, so many children of God who have lost themselves behind other people due to people pleasing, due to being in the wrong relationships with people or being in relationships with the right person at the wrong time. Y'all, that's why we have to consult God and pray about everything that we do, including people or by being in contact with or being in friendships with people that are just selfish um, and they are losing themselves. Um, they have lost themselves behind other people. And now it's to the point to where when you realize um, or when things happen because you were involved with someone that were self-centered, that had a spirit of control, that were all about themselves, that were selfish, and you put down the things that God had told you to work on during that season. And then when you be awakened or when you look up, you realize you're not in the place that you need to be at. You don't know where you are in life. You have to fight, figure out who you are again, your identity again, your purpose again, because you literally lost yourself behind these people, behind other people. Y'all, don't do that in this season. Like I said, I'm coming across so many people who have done that in a season. And y'all, time is something that we can't get back. Yes, God is the redeemer of time, but I'm seeing people who have wasted years because they lost themselves behind other people due to the people pleasing spirit, which is a form of idolatry. If we want to keep it real and 100, 100 with people and honest, that's the spirit of idolatry. Don't lose yourself behind others. We can get so caught up and lose ourselves behind others, y'all. Um, it can cause us to lose our soul because when we get so caught up and lose ourselves behind others, we lose sight of the purpose. We lose sight of our promise. We lose sight of our assignment, which causes us to operate in the spirit of disobedience. Which can cost us our soul and our salvation. Um, and I'm glad, like I said now, uh, God's children are being awakened and they're starting to see. And like I said, God can God can redeem the time. However, that's a hurtful thing too, y'all, to wake up and realize you lost yourself behind someone. Behind others, trying to please others. Trying to make others love you or see how much that you love them and how much you care. And how much you want to see them prosper. To wake up and realize that this person was just only using you. Never wanted to see you prosper. Know that that was a distraction. And a lot of God's children, we carry the Joseph anointing. So everywhere that we go, things are blessed. The anointing and the favor is there. And when we don't realize our purpose and see it, other people, the enemy still can see it and use that against us. And so... They use your glory and your gifts to kind of work against you to benefit them because they kept you so distracted on working and helping them to where you forgot about you. Y'all, it's okay to go through a season of selfishness. That's why I tell you guys it's okay to appreciate this. this I tell you guys to appreciate the, the singleness season, your singleness season. Because that's when you can find yourself and you, you can find yourself. You can find out who you are in God. You can find out your purpose. God will begin to deal with you and work on the things that you need to change. So he can identify your spouses and stuff to you. Um, but a lot of people now, like I said, they are awakening because they are seeing that they lost their self behind people. Now they have to go back to the drawing board and figure it all out again. Now they got to start all over again. What's just nothing wrong with starting over. However, 
don't get so caught up in other people where you lose yourself behind other people where it could be to the point to where you can lose your own soul god doesn't want that for you i don't want that for you because i know how it feels i know how it feels to invest time in someone to get them where they need to be for them to leave me high and dry and pretty much abandon me right um not just in relationships but um in friendships as well and so it's okay to be selfish that's why i said y'all our increase is attached to our growth in a previous video because you got to know you got to realize when and when not to let go when is the season to hold on to someone when is the season to separate and god is doing allowing a lot of separations to come forth because a lot of his children has lost sight of what he had told them lost sight of the promise lost sight of the assignment don't lose yourself behind people okay um if these people are not coming in to add to your life they're coming in to subtract they're coming in to be leeches there should be a balance within relationships and friendships both of y'all should be pouring within each other it shouldn't be one person just doing all the pouring because one person eventually cannot pour from an empty cup it has to be some type of balance if there are no balance there if they're not being your biggest cheerleader if they're not doing and giving you the same type of encouragement and support that you are giving them you might want to reevaluate that situation because there's a balance it should be a balance in everything it should be equal in everything friendships relationships and if you're not getting what you deserve or what you feel like you need you're always pouring 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 to the point where you are feeling depleted please go back and reevaluate these relationships and these friendships because i'm telling you guys don't get so caught up behind people to where you lose yourself you lose your identity and you lose your soul it ain't worth it god has so much better in store for his children he had better relationships and stuff in store for you don't lose yourself behind people i'm telling you this is not the season and not the hour i am running to a lot of people who are now being awakened because they are starting to feel the pressure and um even they're starting to feel like the pressure of being in those type of relationships now and they are also starting to feel where god is dealing with them where god is applying pressure and he is like you forgot or you have stopped working on what i have told you to work on and this stuff has to be done y'all don't lose yourself behind people i'm telling you it's not worth it it's not worth your soul is not worth um it's not worth it because like i said when we be just in disobedience and stuff like that it can cause us to be in disobedience and then we have to go through a season of going through starting all the way over again on the things that god has told us to do due to our punishment because we wasn't obedient and we didn't stay on task we let other people came in and be a distraction y'all so it's like like i said you will have to start all the way over again trust me i've been there <laughs> and it, it's not a good feeling it's not a good feeling but like i said god is the redeemer and he could be the redeemer of time but don't lose yourself in this season behind people if god is telling you to separate in this season separate in this season in this hour you might want to pray ask god um to show you your circle so you can reevaluate some things but i'm seeing a lot of people that are losing themselves behind others and i'm here to tell you don't lose yourself behind other people consult god when it comes to everything and talk to him all right let him lead and guide you in this season in this hour all right so i love you guys i pray that you all have an amazing day and i will chat with you all later